uncleanliness, and other sinful acts. We must heed God's reminders and read God's word with discernment in order to understand what we must do in order to reap eternal life. Now allow these warnings to ring true in your hearts. Because God is loving, merciful, and just, we should never think that we can go through life doing whatever we want, whenever we want, and face no consequences. Do not be afraid of this world and heed the Bible's warnings. We will be able to overcome anything if we live our lives in the presence of the Lord. Having a fresh new mindset entails having a grateful heart every day. When we pray, we should express our gratitude and appreciation to Jesus. We should be grateful for the opportunity to live, for God's favor, for the people He has chosen to love us, and for the chances He has provided and will continue to provide. Yesterday has passed, and whatever terrible events occurred in the past should be disregarded. We must have a new and fresh attitude every day. Devoid of yesterday's frustrations, disappointments, sins, and discouragements, let us begin each day by praying and asking God to help us put on love, to treat people with respect when we leave our rooms, and to not allow our negative emotions to be displaced towards other people just because we are going through a difficult time in our lives. Psalm chapter 119 verse 147 reads, I rise before dawn and cry for help. I have put my hope in your world. Start the day with a prayer that reaches out to Jesus for help. Start the day with a prayer that reaches out to Jesus for help. Let us read the Bible to hear His words and begin each day with hope in Him. Him who has the power to give us strength in facing every day of our lives. God is holy and knowledgeable. He understands what is best for us and what will lead us to holiness instead of sin. He is omnipresent, which means that God is personally involved in everyone's life and active in His creation. No request is too big for Him but neither is any prayer too tiny. God is also all-powerful, which means that no request is too big for Him to handle. God is a merciful God as well. He will forgive us even if we committed a sin yesterday, if we repent and confess because mercy is kindness. So we can pray to God for forgiveness, ask Him to spare us the punishment we deserve and instead grant us forgiveness that we have barely earned. Psalm chapter 51 verse 1 to 2 shares how David cried out, Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion, blot out my transgressions. Wash away all of my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. He will revive our spirits, providing us with new opportunities, ideas, and relationships. When we ask Him in prayer each morning, He will pour out His mercy and help us live as God's faithful, positive, hopeful, kind, and compassionate children. We'll start anew by letting go of things that didn't work out and directing our thoughts in the proper way. We should value being good to others having strong faith and aim to encourage others. Plan beforehand so that even if the day does not go as planned, we will be able to forgive those who have offended us, as well as command and encourage those we will meet. It will make others feel good when they understand there is something about them that we think is admirable. Remember that Jesus gave His life for us so that we could have a wonderful life. So let us fulfill our best lives while remaining true to God's will. Many people need to know about Christ. Therefore, let us go and spread the gospel and serve as a living message to them, not only with our words, but also with our actions. 
It is also beneficial if we assess ourselves and consider whether we need to change our attitudes. Perhaps we have established a habit of focusing on the negative aspects of things rather than the positive aspects. Or perhaps we adopted a negative and toxic attitude. Or perhaps we were disrespectful and difficult to work with. Recognize. Recognize where you need to change and pray that God will help you overcome this attitude. Always consider everything we're up against today or in the future as Goliath, because at least we know where it'll end up. It may look to be a giant, enormous, and difficult, but with God's help, we will be able to battle it as well. No problem is too huge for our God to solve, and no crisis is too difficult for Him to change, for Him to manage. Life is far too brief to let bad events shape and control our attitude. Every morning, we must make the decision to thank God for the day He has given us, to live in faith, and to be optimistic. Romans chapter 8 verse 28 says, And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good for those who are called according to His purpose. When we answer the Lord's call on our lives and comply with His commands, He gives us the assurance that all things in our lives will work out for the best. Because of this, we can have both peace and joy in our lives. And although it may seem like something we do not understand or something that we are unable to make sense of at the moment, but it is essential that we maintain a positive attitude we should not be pessimists. It is important for us to have a healthy dose of realism and keep our attention fixed on the fact that the God we serve is both omnipotent and merciful. Biblical realism is optimistic because of the unwavering nature of Christ's atoning sacrifice and the promises that He has made. Isaiah chapter 65 verse 24 says, Before they call, I will answer. While they are still speaking, I will hear. We have a good Father who hears every word we pray and understands every desire of our hearts long before we think to ask. There are times in our lives when we are unable to speak a single word to God, but He hears our hearts, understands our pain, and provides us with comfort and healing even when we haven't asked for it yet. These are the times when we need Him the most. 1 John chapter 5, verse 14 This is the confidence we have in approaching God that if we ask anything according to His will, He will hear us. He is always there for us. When these truths become the foundation of all your prayers, your prayers will become powerful, passionate, and purposeful. When you realize that God is for you and not against you, no matter how you feel or what your life looks like, that He is a good God who wants what is best for you even more than you do and that He knows what will make you happy more than you do. Your prayers will become powerful, passionate, and purposeful. Nothing in your life is more important than becoming proficient at praying for yourself and others. It is the channel through which you can communicate with God and gain access to His power, presence, peace, and purpose, as well as His plan. We pray that God's goodness will become the foundation of our prayers, that we will learn to pray from a place of believing rather than begging, and to pray with hope rather than doubt.